Hi, my name is Kat Kerr, and today we're making faux resin crystal pendants. We're going to start off by making the crystal and the beads. Today we're using Resin Obsession. It's a two-to-one resin. Make sure that you're reading the labels and that you're following proper safety precautions. I'm wearing gloves, and I also have some wax paper on my surface. I'm also using two molds, a crystal and a square bead mold. I'm combining the two parts of resin together. I'm going to mix them thoroughly um, for about two minutes. I'm just gently folding it together and then I'll let it rest for an additional two minutes. Once the resin is sat for about two minutes, I'm going to add some Resin Obsession transparent dye. I only need a little bit, so I'm going to take my popsicle stick, just grab a little bit of color and mix it in the resin. At this point, you can decide to just mix it a little bit and you'll end up with some really nice swirls in your resin. Or you can do what I did, which is just mix it thoroughly and you'll end up with one solid transparent color. Once you've poured the resin into the molds, make sure you take a piece of wire and pop any air bubbles, especially at the tip of the crystal. Once your resin has cured, add a little drop of dish soap and water to the top of your crystal mold. This really helps in removing the crystal. Next, grab some brass filigree. Cut it if necessary, and you're going to use some round pliers to shape the filigree. Hammer it if necessary around the edges to get the round shape. Once you remove it from your plier, you have a nice round shape. Just gently open it enough to fit the crystal through the filigree. Next, I'm going to take two equal parts of epoxy sculpt. I'm going to mix them together following the package directions. I'll roll it into a ball and then into a small cylinder. Next, I'll take the epoxy and place it over the end of the resin crystal and the brass filigree, making sure to cover both pieces. I'll shape it with my fingers and roll it until I reach a desired shape. Next, I'll add some texture to the epoxy sculpt with a rubber stamp, as well as embedding a small crystal into the epoxy, making sure that you press it in enough to cover the sides of the crystal, and also adding a clasp to the top of the pendant. Next, I'll use some bronze metallic powder and add it to the epoxy sculpt.
Now I'm using some Jack's Patina to add some color to the brass filigree. Make sure you're reading the label and following proper safety precautions. A little bit goes a very long way. So I'm just going to brush some onto the brass filigree, wipe it with a paper towel, and then I'll clean it thoroughly with a baby wipe. Next, add some burnt umber to the epoxy sculpt. I wanted to get into all the little grooves and texture that I created. Then wipe it away with a paper towel. Finish off by adding some gold metallic wax to the pendant. Lastly, I threaded some of my resin beads onto a thin chain and assembled my necklace. For more tutorials using Resin Obsession, visit www.resinobsession.com.